Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. In the previous video, we learned about the animations and transforms, which are a big part of CSS. And especially when you use Telvin CSS, they are made very easy and interesting to use. But in this video, I'm going to talk about really more useful, interesting, and needy techniques in web designing. That is about designing a completely responsive website. So in today's world, you might see that most of the people browse the internet with their mobile or tablet or other gadgets. So your website needs to be very responsive for almost all the screens. And in that way, you need the techniques to like uh, make your website responsive. So with the Telvin CSS, this one is also to make very clear and interesting and easy to use and to create a flexible websites. So uh, as we uh, go through the documentation and website of Telvin, we reach a section that is written that mobile first, responsive everything. So they claim that we have built something which can build file first uh, websites. So uh, they have this uh, breakpoints like SM, MD, LG, and many more. We can search uh, in their documentation what they have got for us. Let's see responsive design. Okay, so we have got this um, breakpoints like SM for the small screens which the minimum width is about 640px and for the MD they have 768px and for the LG 1024px for the XL 1280px and for large screens like 2XL 5036px the minimum width of the screens so as per their claim the first design that we make should be for the very extra small screens which are not included in the breakpoints so when you design something you have to consider it for the very tiny mobile then uh, after that this give this you or use these breakpoints to make them uh, responsive for the big screens that is uh, the uh, tricky point that the first classes that you use or utility, utility classes you use in your television CSS should be for the screens with the minimum width below the 640 px for the very tiny mobiles we can, we can just see these breakpoints for different types of uh, devices in our uh, browser in Chrome. Like we just come here and we can see for example for Galaxy S8 which is the width is 360. So uh, the minimum breakpoint of the Tailwind CSS is uh, 640 which is about uh, two times bigger than the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So the first screen that you have to consider in your designs uh, is must be for the very tiny screens with the tiny widths, for example, 360 width. And after that, using these breakpoints will make them responsive and flexible for the bigger screens. Uh, for instance, let's dive into coding. So let me come in down the previous one and start with the new one. Responsive design can be practiced with the grid section very easily. So let's create a div, uh, three more or four divs inside it, and we can then practice it very well. So let me mm, write some uh, content inside this, for example, lorem20. That's all, that's fine. Let me first give it some class like bg. Let's save it and check it on the browser what we get. So we got this uh, lines and let's change our main div to grid. Then, and as I said, the first screen we have considered it for the uh, minimum screen and the tiny screen. So in the on the tiny, very tiny screen, I assume that there should be only one column on our screen. So uh, we can say the grid called one just one 
Uh, if I give it two, that's fine. We get two. But for I, sh I have to consider for the very tiny screen, which was Samsung Galaxy at plus uh, about 360 px. So there should be only one screen, and that is fine. We can just check it again and inspect it, and we can see that we got only one. And for the above breakpoints, we can just use, for example, SM when our screen is SM or small or above 640 px. So just we have to use grid calls two. Every almost every utility classes can be used with this breakpoint. So when our screen is above uh, 640 px for the SM, you can see there uh, and the columns should be two. Okay, so when we just change the screen, it's 12 ultra. There's a lot of four. Let's uh, just rotate our screen. So this is the width is 915. So we got two columns here. We can just check it the responsive option here and just see that now we have the and the minimum width of 515 that is one column we got and now if i bring it above 614 then we will get two columns so that's for the small screen breakpoint and for the medium screens we can just change it to grid columns three means if our screen changes to the a uh, big screen medium size then it should be uh, three columns medium screen is for 768 uh, so we can just uh, 768 bring it to 768 768 yeah this is above 768 so we got three uh, uh, three columns and for the large screens we can just say lg grid call four if our screen is large uh, above then 1218 then we have to see four screens four uh, i mean columns so uh, let me bring it to 50 percent and then just yeah you can see that we got the four columns now uh, we don't have any scroll bar uh, down here well if our website is changing in breakpoints so we got this and I, uh, the same thing if you want to hide any column in any screen we can use that so this was using the breakpoints in the parent element we can use it uh, and the as well for example i want to hide the first element if our screen is in medium size uh, like yeah medium size so i can use medium screen and then hidden this is the utility class so let me just mm, yes, yeah we can see that when our screen is medium or above medium above this pixel uh, that is screen the first element is hidden and if it if you bring it below this uh, width then we then get the same the this red one and if we just mm, bring it above the md above the 786 68 sorry then we just lose that so this was all about the responsive design with the Tavern CSS. You can use all the utility glasses and this is uh, practice. If you have any question, please share it with the comment section in the next section. Uh, and after this video, we will talk a little bit about the customization of the Tavern CSS and uh, other things like customization of fonts and this breakpoints. Uh, if you like my videos, kindly subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you very much.